Uh, I would also like to start off the video by saying I'm so sorry for how um unprofessional it is. Um, yeah, I I am kind of just like rushed on time and um yeah i'm so sorry we'll make better in the future see i would have done my makeup for this video but like i have driver's ed soon and i don't really want to take off crazy makeup or show up to driver's ed like that. anyways this is my first experiment of content uh, it's just a start out because I tried to find creepy stories for, like, th for this video, but it doesn't exist for a children's book, surprisingly, because, like, all the nursery rhymes. Anyways, um, so, um, I'm tr doing on Where the Wild Things Are, The Truth, and the author said growing up in brooklyn in the polish immigrants uh in to polish immigrant parents sendik he had s said that his own childhood was terrible due to family losses in the holocaust because of his own experiences he doesn't see childhood through rose-colored glasses like most kids would, which I think is very interesting because, like, everybody wants to go back to their childhood, but sometimes people don't. And rose-colored glasses, I think, is very interesting words to use for this because usually that would be described as love or for blindness and I think, like, as a child, you could you also have love for blindness, or, like, you don't understand what's happening. So it's just, you can be free. And he said that neither does his characters. So where the wild things are, Max is, is also a character that's, like, not going through... Yeah, I also like switched cameras because might as well not have Snapchat max out on me. <laughs> so the Wild Things story, uh, true story starts so like with going in depth. It starts by the imagination of the child because of absence of emotions with his mother. And the first page telling us how Max gets into mischief. And is sent to his room without dinner. His mother sent him to his room without dinner, enraging him to make his imagination run free. As he comes across the wild things, uh, scared to death, deep down, he just wanted to be a part of something. And finally, he rose above that and he became king. So as he ran through... Uh, as he ran through playing with the wild things, he soon got lonely, though, and sent the wild things to bed without dinner, and then left to go home. Once he got home, his he, uh, he smelled warm food, and his food was there, reconnecting the emotions with his mother. Now... Um... Uh, sure it's like a short story and there isn't much behind it it seems like a big deal but if we go really in deep with it i think it can be because of uh reasons that i will get to in a second because first i will tell you a story the author actually wrote postcards and illustrations to this him this one kid and he said dear jim i, I love your card and then the mo his mother wrote back saying he loved it too so much he ate it 
And that was one of the highest com compliments that he has ever received. But now is the um, going in depth. I think there are some major lessons and I think the ones that really stick out to me that I actually wrote a slam poem about are like, don't judge someone or something by his or her appearance or their. There's a wild thing in all of us and that's okay. And love with everything you've got. The last part is very important as it may seem cringy. It's very important because you never know what someone's going through and as much as it may sound cringy, like everybody's heard that, it is a really true thing because you don't know what tomorrow has to come. But that's not the point of this. I wrote a slam poem and I will be sharing that with you. Find table spaces, say your social graces. Find table spaces, say your social graces, let your imagination run free. Max's room grew while yours shrinks. Max was a wild thing, as they say, but he was himself. Max found his creatures while you still suffer without yours. Max doesn't need to try, you try too hard. Leave the empty chairs to those who say we can't sit there. We're fine all by ourselves. We brought our drum and this is how we dance. No mistaken, we make our break. If you don't like our 808s, then leave us alone. Cause we don't need your policies. We have no apologies for being me. Find me where the wild things are. The wild things showed their terrible claws, their bright yellow glowing eyes and their terrible teeth. Yet Max still accepted them. So why don't we? I lose my balance on these eggshells you tell me to tread. I'd rather be a wild one instead. The cool kids aren't cool to me. They're not cooler than we are. Max parted with the wild things. We laugh. Knowing very well, we wish we could be like them. Happy and free. Find your great. Don't you dare hide your face. Let it shine. The wild things get peace, so why can't we? The wild things can proudly say who they are and tell about their scars, but God forbid we are human. Humans can't make scars. She has her scars. God forbid she is human. Why should we hate ourselves for being human? We say that word so many times before, but I don't think we know what it means anymore. Human. The only wild thing left unscarred are those left in cages. I want, I don't want to be tamed. I don't want to walk this earth saying, caution, human. We would never ask the moon to be creative free or the ocean floor to be even. We would never say to the mountains, why so jagged? Scarring is our unique capability to overcome hurt. So I'll take the wild things. Because I don't want to be tamed. I want to be free. So I choose to be free. I choose to be a wild thing. And if that means people stare and laugh, so be it. But I am not going to be tamed. If it means I'm a monster, not a human, because I don't like Victoria's Secret or the new $150 Lululemon leggings, then happy Halloween! I choose to be free. I choose to be wild. Because I am a wild thing. And I am me.